Hi, I'm Neil, and in this video, we're going to be using this birch bark. Stay tuned. So the project we're going to be making today is using birch bark. Birch bark is a highly versatile material that we can use for a lot of different applications. It's somewhere between leather and wood. It's got the flexibility and durability of leather, but it's also got the grain of wood. It's easy to spot this when you look at the bark and when you study it, what you'll see is when it's on the tree, it has these little lines that run horizontally around the bark. These are called lintocils. And, and what happens is the bark will easily tear horizontally. So when we use it, we need to think about where the lintocils are. If I try and tear it that way, it's very, very difficult. If, however, I go to the end and split it along the lintocils, tears very easily. So when we're cutting and working out how we're going to lay out our project, always remember you work with the grain of the bark. Before starting any project, it's really important that we think about what the end use is going to be. Now today we're going to be making a little sheath for this puka. So I've got to think what does that sheath need to be able to do? Well, primarily, it needs to be able to take me from the knife's blade. But what it also needs to do is to be able to hold the knife securely so it doesn't get lost. The first thing I'm going to need is a stick about as long, just slightly longer, than the blade of the knife itself. And the width needs to be just slightly wider than the handle to start with. So here I have my stick slightly larger than the blade, slightly wider than the widest point of the handle. And then what I've done is I've split it and I've carved a section so that the blade fits perfectly in. And I've done that on both sides. Two are put together, we've created a slot down through the middle for the blade of our knife. So there she is, all glued together, tied in place with string, just got to leave that overnight. While we're waiting for that, what we can do is turn our attention to the birch bark. What I need is half a dozen long strips of birch bark. Here we go. So, this is our little insert that we glued together yesterday, as you can see. And what I've started to do, I've trimmed the sides down to make it more like blade shape. So if I insert that into there, you'll see that it keeps the knife blade fully enclosed. If I turn it onto its side, you'll see the shape runs pretty smooth. But from the side there, we need to trim this down top and bottom just to make it slightly more in line. And we also need to round the edges off. So there it is, all trimmed to size. And it's a nice secure fit. So the next thing we need to do is to actually get on and start putting the bark, birch bark onto the outside to start enclosing the rest of the knife. So now we're going to prepare everything ready to put the sheath together. We've got our knife complete with the, the wooden blade cover. We've then got four 18 inch long by half an inch wide strips of birch bark. One piece of birch bark that's probably about three fingers wide 
by approximately 10 inches long. And it's also been cut to an arrow point at one end. I've then got three pieces that are just over an inch wide. One is about two foot long. And then another, again, inch wide and about 18 inches long. First thing I'm going to do with this piece is fold it in two. Like so. So I can find the middle point. I'm then going to fold the two ends in to that middle point again. Then with my piece that's about 18 inches long, I folded one edge in, like so, and then I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm going to take this edge that's folded, I'm just going to hook it around one of the ends. And that piece there, that's going to form the belt loop. And it's hooked in underneath, so it's, it should be nice and secure. Next thing I'm going to do is take my knife and I'm going to place it in. To my birch bark, like so. Then I find a couple of rubber bands, quite useful. I'm just going to twist that round. Now I'm going to do one at the other end too. There it is. So next, I'm going to add in the first of my thin strips. What I'm going to do is pass one end between the birch bark and the wooden insert. I'm going to do this fairly close to the end. Like so. Then what I'm going to do I'm going to pass it around behind and wrap it tightly across the front. For the next bit, I'm going to take my free end and where I've gone over the outside, just above, I'm going to pass it underneath top layer of bark. Then I'm going to repeat the same on the back. Then across the front. When I get to a piece like this where I've come nearly to the end of the bark, I'm going to join in pretty much the same as when we're making string. So I'm going to take another piece of bark and I'm going to place it underneath.
So there it is, all wrapped up, just past the top of the, uh, the blade cover. Now what I want to do next um, is wrap where the handle is going to be in the form of a tube so the handle seats nicely and directs the blade into the blade cover when I insert it into the sheath. To do that, I'm going to use this, our little collar that's three fingers wide, the arrow tip on it. I've passed it through the front loop and the flat end I'm going to pass through the rear loop. Then what I'm going to do is compress all of it and wrap it really tightly. Like so. Once I've wrapped it to that point, the next thing I'm going to do is take my pencil and just mark where the arrow is. Then all I need to do then is unwrap it again. So now all I'm going to do is with the knife out, I'm going to put it all back together again. For this last little bit, I've just got to tuck the arrow into the slot behind. So there it is, finished. And, uh, I suppose you will see if the knife fits. And here we have the finished product, ready to go. Stores my knife nice and securely, protects me, but it also prevents my knife from getting lost. Until next time, stay safe.